If you're wondering what to eat to improve the blood flow and the circulation in your legs and your lower extremity, today I'm gonna to share with you five absolutely essential foods you want to eat every day that will increase the blood flow and promote the circulation in not just your legs and your feet, but your whole entire body. So if you're dealing with pain and numbness, just a general discomfort and even swelling in your legs, your ankle and your calves, and just feel like your body's blood flow and circulation is not as efficient in your lower extremity, and maybe you're even observing some spider veins, varicose veins, and vascular changes, these five nutrient-dense foods are going to change your blood flow imbalance and promote the circulation in your legs and your feet. I'm really excited to share this video with you, so without further ado, let's go. Food is medicine, friends, and I love, as a naturopathic physician, to always recommend food first before we go with any type of supplementation or medical treatment or interventions that might require more additional support. This video is an extension of a video I posted less than four weeks ago on how to promote and improve circulation in your legs and your feet. That video went crazy viral, and as a result, I've had tons, thousands of questions specifically about what do we eat? So today I'm listing the top, the best, the number one in their category as far as nutrients that are going to help vasodilate, so improve the dilation of the blood vessels, calm and soothe your vas vascular tone, so soothe the inner muscles, the smooth muscles in your vessels. One particular food on this list is going to increase the nitric oxide levels in your body, which is great for circulation. One of the other benefits of these five foods is many of them contain other key nutrients collectively that you need to promote blood flow and enhance the circulation in your whole entire body. So let's kick off with number one. This is a food that many of you probably are not eating on the daily that we have seen a decline of this consumption in the last 50, 70 years, and it is consuming beef liver. Beef liver is powerful for enhancing blood flow and circulation. Particularly, beef liver is very high in its nutrient density of the whole cascade of B vitamins, but one particular B vitamin, B3, otherwise known as niacin, is in a super abundance in beef liver. The quantity of niacin that you're going to find in beef liver, it's actually 194% of the daily required intake. So you are really maxing out and enhancing that niacin intake. Niacin is a vasodilator. And if you've ever taken liquid Bs or even too many B vitamins, you might've gotten what we call a niacin flush. It literally vasodilates every vessel, every vasculature in your body. Sometimes we get flushing in and around the face, the arms and the legs. The effectiveness of vasodilation is what helps to promote blood flow and increase circulation. Now, believe me, I'm not a huge fan of beef liver, but I'm gonna share with you some powerful tactics and ways to incorporate beef liver into your daily diet, and I promise you, it doesn't taste gross. I promise. I personally am not a fan of just plain beef liver. I don't like the taste of it, even the idea of eating liver, but I've conveniently found ways to sneak it into my diet I think you're going to enjoy too. So one powerful way to add beef liver into your daily diet is to actually take one to two tablespoons of cooked beef liver and add it to your smoothies. I, I, I know it sounds crazy, you're never going to taste it, especially if you have a dense smoothie and has bananas and berries and maybe even some other items on our list, you can temper any angst of the flavor and even the idea of adding beef liver. Believe me, this in a smoothie is really good. Another way is to add in ground beef liver into your regular ground meat. And my family, my son will eat ground meat, but we usually will eat a bison or we'll eat a full grass-fed organic meat. You can add that in, even turkey, meat, organic turkey, free range turkey, you can add in liver, ground liver, and it can just blend in. And then if you're using a sauce, you'll never taste it. Another way to add in beef liver is to actually add it on pizzas or toppings to a pizza. So this can be, if you wanna slice it up and make it into 
like a meatball or even blend it with ground meat. However you do it, just add it onto your pizza. There's a lot of flavors with pizza and it often will temper that kind of uh, intensity of a beef liver. Now an alternative here, if you're like, absolutely no way, I'm not gonna consume it as a food, you can incorporate encapsulated beef liver. And I'm gonna share with you in the description box below my favorite beef liver. I took this when I was pregnant. I could not handle any type of idea of like red meat at all when I was pregnant. Just the smell of it grossed me out. Ugh. Uh, but the capsules are really good. The second food on my list is potassium dense, and it actually has the highest quantity of potassium out there. One cup of acorn squash is going to give you 896 milligrams of potassium. Now potassium is a great balancer to sodium. And why this is really important, potassium will help minimize swelling and fluid retention that might be pressing on your veins and minimizing circulation flow. The blood flow can be impacted when we have swelling in our feet, our ankles, our calves, and the entire leg. The other thing that potassium does is it's also a vasodilator. It relaxes your vessels, especially when you have optimal levels. I test my patients in my clinic. I don't guess. So there's my motto is test, don't guess. I test them on their micronutrients and always without fail, my patients that have presenting symptoms of poor blood flow and leg blood circulation imbalances, without fail, they have a reduction, a deficiency in potassium, and the ratio between potassium and sodium is out of whack. And that is a huge calibration you wanna have tweaked. And I love food first, and acorn squash is the way to do it. Now acorn squash, let me share with you some ways to get this into your diet. It tends to be a seasonal squash. And so if you stock up on it and then prepare it, you can actually consume this throughout the year. You also are generally going to find, depending on the season, when it's not in season, you can find acorn squash in your frozen section. So that's a good way to add it into say a smoothie or soup. I also have patients that will dehydrate sliced acorn squash. And those same slices they will use in before they dehydrate them. They will also use some of those slices and coat them with cumin and chili powder and use those within their tacos. Really yummy. I promise you I've tried it. It's really yummy. And the dehydrated versions actually better than you would think. Another big benefit here is if you have muscle cramping and even restless leg syndrome, the potassium will help combat that. So you're gonna get that muscle relaxing also in the calf muscle and just the overall leg. Number three on my list is the most power packed, nutrient dense vitamin K that you're gonna find in a food. And it's one cup of steamed or cooked spinach, not raw, steamed and cooked. And I have actually gotten a lot of comments on other food related videos. People get really angsty about spinach. This is one cup of cooked spinach. Very important to notate, cooked specifically. And one cup of cooked spinach has 888 milligrams of vitamin K. I actually have a whole video if you wanna deep dive into the benefits of vitamin K, I'll post it right there. There'll be a link in the description box. I have a whole cardiovascular playlist that you might be interested in. But vitamin K is a blood clot preventer and vitamin K clears out and cleans your arteries. This is really important, especially if you're dealing with PAD or any type of arterial blockage, calcification in arteries, vitamin K is going to definitely combat that. Vitamin K breaks up blood clots. Blood clots are just basically dense fib fibrin oriented red blood cells. Blood clots in the legs are very common and blood clots can be the source of poor circulation and poor blood flow that a lot of folks don't even have diagnosed. So just FYI, you may wanna schedule a Doppler, which is a scan of your legs. It's actually a scan of any part of your body, but generally you're gonna find hip down. They can do a Doppler. It's kind of like a vein ultrasound, if you will, and it identifies if there's any blood clots, but vitamin K is highly effective. In general, it's okay to eat spinach if you are taking blood thinners, but again, one cup cooked spinach is the key. Number four, this is actually my favorite. Oh, I am so excited to share this with you because 
This particular seed, it's a seed, is crazy, crazy power punched, super dense with magnesium. I love magnesium. Magnesium in food, always number one. Pumpkin seeds are the winner here, and you're gonna find 156 milligrams in a dose of pumpkin seeds. And pumpkin seeds are extremely versatile. I love eating them raw. You can roast and toast them. You can flavor them up with all sorts of great flavors. You can make them spicy, you can make them savory, and you're baked, kind of toasted. You can also grind them. And pumpkin seeds are a great flour alternative. I love them in a lot of my raw protein balls. I also love them in overnight oats, chia seed pudding, and even flax seed pudding. Really, really versatile. Here's why we love pumpkin seeds and the natural density of magnesium. Magnesium is so great for relaxing your muscles and creating a vasodilation in your blood vessels. Magnesium also blocks calcium. Calcium or the calcification of our veins or blood vessels is what causes stiffness to your veins and the smaller vasculature of your whole entire body. But particularly, it's not uncommon folks will have that effect in their legs and their ankles and their feet. So when we're looking at trying to improve blood flow and circulation, we need pliable, we need very flexible, go with the flow vessels. And how we achieve that is increasing your magnesium. Here's a really important stat for you to notate. 99% of our population worldwide is extremely deficient in magnesium. And sadly, our magnesium levels have decreased in our everyday foods. So even pumpkin seeds used to have higher magnesium levels, but we were seeing a reduction across the board in fruits and vegetables, rooted vegetables. Magnesium density is decreasing. So magnesium is really important and you definitely want to add magnesium to your diet because it also helps to minimize edema, swelling, bruising, very important. Pumpkin seeds are also dense in potassium and zinc. And this really makes pumpkin seeds just so powerful because you're also getting a hit of potassium, you're also getting a hit of magnesium. And we see this with a lot of these foods on this list. I love this seed, particularly because it's the only food on my list that naturally increases nitric oxide in the body. It vasodilates, it expands our blood vessels and we get better flow. Nitric oxide is actually what heart attack patients get when they get into the ER. That's an instant way of calming, relaxing the blood flow and the circulation going on here in the heart. It's a relaxant. Last and final is a powerful omega-3 that is plant-based. And flax seeds are the big winner here. They are dense in a particular form of omega-3, ALA, alpha linoleic acid, and they're also dense in lignans. And the combination is just great for your veins. This particular type of omega has a lot of clinical research to enhance the blood flow and support circulation and decreases blood clotting. All very powerful benefits when we're looking at trying to improve blood flow in your legs, your feet, and your ankles. The other thing that I really like with this particular food is that the lignans are anti-inflammatory and they're also a form of a phytonutrient that helps to balance hormones, particularly estrogen. And a lot of times patients, both men and women, have estrogenic dominance, they're estrogen dominant. Estrogen in some high levels is not always the healthiest when it comes to the liver function in the body. And a lot of times that estrogen dominant state can lead to rising cholesterol and rising triglyceride levels. So flax seeds are great for supporting your liver and ultimately enhancing the blood flow and circulation because guess what? Your liver is your blood filter. Powerful, powerful benefit here, not just in your legs and your feet. In fact, all five of these foods are awesome and I can't wait to share with you more videos about in promoting blood flow and circulation throughout the body, in your arms and in your legs. And our next video, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. I have videos that come out every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Sunday. And there's a future video coming out that's going to feature one of the best herbals 
that you can consume to support blood flow. So I can't wait to detail that with you in the future. And any questions you might have, comment down below. I do read them and they help me create more fabulous content to help support you in your wellness journey. So thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on our next video.